Hello there. The weather pattern in Europe has been the same all week. We've got these areas of low pressure through the Mediterranean. It's brought some unsettled weather. One that's moving towards Portugal. Another once again moving across central Italy over to the Balkans. And a large area of high pressure keeping things very quiet, cold uh, with some low cloud and some mist and fog at times as well. So that's the story on Sunday. There will be some snow across the Alps. It's much colder across parts of Russia with temperatures in Moscow at minus seven degrees, Helsinki at minus one. There'll be some snow showers to come here. Low cloud and fog an issue across Germany, the low countries and into France where that cloud lingers. Temperatures only around four degrees. More wet weather pushing into Portugal. That's going to be the story over the next few days. The Mediterranean stays breezy at times, but hopefully a slow improvement. So as we go into Monday, there's that rain pushing its way up through parts of Portugal and maybe into central Spain. A quieter story into northern Europe, some of the rain easing into Italy, but still one or two sharp showers into the Balkans. Our city forecast looks like this, though. Uh, Lisbon will continue to see some showers as we go through the week ahead, but not too cold with it. Same too for Bordeaux. It looks likely that we'll see some snow through Helsinki as those temperatures hover around the freezing mark. Hello there. Heaviest to the rain in Asia at the moment is across Malaysia. Some of it could produce some localised flash flooding. It's uh, these cluster of uh, storm clouds here and they're going to gradually drift their way steadily westwards. Potential to develop into a storm system through the Bay of Bengal. We'll keep an eye on that. Further north of that in recent days, it's all been about the cold, hasn't it? But temperatures easing just a touch. Um, we will start to see those temperatures going up in Beijing. Showers in Shanghai at the moment, but an improving picture here. A few scattered showers into southern Japan as well. There will be some showers across parts of Vietnam and northern Thailand talked about that rain across Malaysia, also some sharper showers into Indonesia as well. Here's our city forecast then. The temperatures in Seoul starting to climb back up. We had temperatures struggling to get above freezing just a few days ago. Now over to Australia, we've got heat warnings out across northwestern portions of Australia. Some of that warmth is actually drifting its way steadily eastwards, but not for long because we've got a few scattered showers. So temperatures starting to fall away. We had temperatures into the 30s for Adelaide and Melbourne, as you can see on Monday, quite a dramatic change with those showers flirting around. We're also picking up the risk of a few more showers to come into New Zealand as well. So our city forecast looks somewhat like this turning unsettled for Auckland from Wednesday. Hello there. After a week of very heavy, intense rain across much of eastern Brazil, there are signs of something a little bit less chaotic over the next couple of days. There are still some showers across Venezuela and western parts of Colombia, not as extensive here as they have been, and a similar story across areas of Brazil. So yes, there will be some rain. Uh, heat, still very much a feature across Argentina and northern Chile. Lots of sunshine here to come over the next few days, perhaps warming up a touch as well as we go through the week ahead. Here's the story then, a little more detail on Sunday. You can see the sharper showers, the brighter colours denoting the intensity of the rainfall. And then we head into that warmth across Uruguay, into northern Argentina, northern parts of Chile. Further south of that, across Patagonia, we'll see some wetter weather developing. So still the risk of some showers, perhaps Tuesday and Wednesday in Rio, but certainly a better story than it has been. There's that warmth continuing to build into the low 30s for Buenos Aires. A few scattered showers across Mexico and down into Central America, affecting Guatemala, Honduras, but not as many as they can be at this time of year. A quieter story across the Caribbean, a good deal of dry weather. Showers will remain fairly isolated, actually, not just for the second half of the weekend, but also as we go into the week ahead. A lot of sunshine to look forward to and temperatures likely to peak in the high 20s, low 30s. Hello there. We've seen some significant snow just recently across British Columbia, down through Washington state, and we could see further snow across the Sierra Nevada range with this system moving through. At the same time, we've got heavy snow easing across the eastern seaboard from Quebec and that wet weather clears away as well. Behind it, some colder weather for a time, but then temperatures start to recover quite quickly. So there's a lot going off in North America at the moment. There's further snow to come as well, particularly through the Cascades. You can see that quite clearly. And so there will be some wet weather. There'll be some snow just to the south of Vancouver, 
stretching down, as I say, into Washington State, also pushing across the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges. Some rain to come into San Francisco. Welcome rain across Northern California, still in drought conditions here, and still some sharp showers likely close to Las Vegas. So here's our city forecast then. As we go through Sunday and Monday, the showers will gradually ease away from Monday onwards. Slightly quieter story on Sunday as that rain and snow has eased through. You are so some sunshine coming through. We're going to see fair weather cloud, maybe the odd isolated shower into Tennessee, not looking too bad into Georgia and then into Florida fine and sunny but not as warm as it can be really so this is the story then over the next couple of days the temperatures will start to recover a touch from monday Hello then. Got weather warnings for sharp showers across South Asia and also some dense fog across the far northwest affecting Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Fairly typical at this time of year. You can see where the shower cloud is sitting though at the moment. Some of these showers could be quite extensive as well over the next day or so. So there are the showers. Further north of that, it's all about the sunshine and the warmth. Quite a still, quiet story at the moment with temperatures peaking into the mid-30s. But if we get that fog lingering into the far northwest, obviously that's going to have an impact on the feel of the weather. Now, completely contrasting conditions through Central Asia. Bitterly cold in Kazakhstan. Temperatures struggling to get above minus 19. Some of that cold air pushing into Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, there'll be some snow showers here to come as well over the next few days. Back into Pakistan, down to India, there's that dry, settled, sunny and warm story. Here's the sharper showers across the far southeast. The weather warnings here remain in force. Stretching up into northeastern states, not too bad actually through Bangladesh and parts of northwest Myanmar. It's a quiet story. So Kazakhstan still struggling with the temperatures. More snow to come into Tashkent as we go through our week ahead. Elsewhere, it's a dry, settled and sunny story. And once again, those temperatures peaking in the low 30s. Hello there. It is quite a quiet weather story at the moment across Africa, but over the last few days, areas of low pressure through the Mediterranean have been having quite an impact across the North African coastline. You can see that quite clearly. There will be further showers to come, maybe some brisk winds and some poor visibility from time to time. We've got some heavier rain across the Ivory coastline there, but really, the rains just slipping a little bit further south are not as intense as they can be either. We've seen a weak weather front moving through South Africa. That eases away a good deal of dry weather to follow. And unfortunately, it stays dry through the Horn of Africa. There's no significant rain expected here over the next few days. So this is the city forecast. A few isolated showers through Durban, but that eases away. Dry, settled and sunny, improving picture with warmth building in Cape Town. Still the risk of some sharp showers, though, across that that far northwest of Africa for Casablanca continuing into next week. Let's take a look at the Middle East in a little more detail. Cold across uh, the Caucasus towards the Caspian, stretching down into northern Iran. We'll see some colder weather, some showers here. A few scattered showers into Kuwait as well over the next few days. Fine and settled further south, largely uh, dry with that sunshine coming through, so temperatures into the low 30s. So this is our city forecast. Look at what's happening in Tehran. Cold with some snow on Monday. Take care.